Hello everybody, welcome to Life Uncommon. This is not a repeat, this is Finally. Live. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> My name is Andrea Rodriguez and I'm excited to be here with you. Very excited. And my name is Alita Sharp and it is so good to be back here. I can't believe we've we're gone a month. Yeah, it yeah. felt longer than it a month. It felt so much longer than that, but it's good to be back. Yes. So yeah. everybody must give a disclaimer. I told Alita never <laughs> will I plan to open a show the day after school opens. It's yeah. just too crazy. Yeah. I was like, oh my goodness. Oh. Alita's well, like, we have a show tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Well, especially the day after sending your very last one off yes. for her first day of school. Yes. I know that was hard. She did She did so well yesterday, but today she cried. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm, she oh, did. Oh, bless her heart. But mommy punked out and I ran away. <laughs> oh. I left her to cry yeah. on daddy's shoulder because then it would have been mom, mommy and daughter That's crying. Right, right? right. So yeah. I was like, you go, you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Dan went and, um, you know, hugged her and cheered her her up and she was fine yeah so. that's good yeah but it is hard to send my last little one because i always tell people when once they hit infant one that's it yeah they, they're gone <laughs> you know it's after that it's high school college you get married yeah never again yeah <laughs> and so i'm i'm so used to having her around i mm -hmm. mean it was hard when she went to preschool and she wasn't here when we yeah. would start the show yeah. you know and so now she's Mm -hmm. In big girl school. Big girl, yes. <laughs> so she said, Mommy, I did a lot of work yesterday and I'm so tired. Oh. I said, Well, girl, you're in big girl yeah. school. So that's what happens. That's what happens. But yeah, she's. She's doing good, and um, you know she has my two other kids uh -huh. there, so they've been just wonderful helping her to settle in. So oh, that's, that's great. Good. Yeah, that's great. So my house is very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Well, I know this probably isn't the ideal day for you, but I was excited when I realized mm -hmm. September tenth, uh, uh, sixth. Six. Sorry, September sixth is the anniversary yes. of us being here in Belize. Yes. We've been here six years now. Yep. So I was very Congratulations. excited. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I, um, I think it went by so fast because I was did. trying to remember how long ago we met. I think yeah. we met maybe a year after you guys a got here. A year after we got here, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've known you for five years. Yeah. And um, we, I just remember when we got here to Belize, the country was already decorated out for September. And I told my husband, look how they welcomed us. That's right. <laughs> Flags so, in the air. Yeah, that, it's a right? party. The sharks uh -huh. are here. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah. I was asking you, um, I think I asked you, like, since you guys came, because I think you shared the story about why you guys came to Belize, but since you've been here for six years, what has it been like? Do you regret coming? Any of those things? Oh, my goodness. There is no way I could ever regret coming to Belize. The doors that have opened for us here and the way that I have changed and grown personally, mm -hmm. it's, it's just been amazing. I mean, I wrote I wrote my first song here in Belize mm -hmm. and I never would have imagined when we came here um, we were initially supposed to work at a, a drug and alcohol rehab center well those plans fell through like three weeks before we got here but okay. we knew that we were supposed to come we knew in our heart of hearts that God wanted us to be yeah. here but we didn't know what we were going to be doing yeah so I you know to go from that to be sitting here with you today mm -hmm. is just amazing yeah. to me I never would have seen the doors yeah. that, that God was going to open yeah so I can't regret coming here it's well I'm glad because <laughs> I would have kept you here for a long 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 time yeah. anyway so yeah. even if you wanted to go back I'm like nope nope no nope. hide not, the passport I don't <laughs> I have no plans to go anywhere no plan so I love it and I'm I'm so truly grateful for you and Tom because you know we have um, people coming to Belize all the time mm -hmm. and some come with good intentions and some come with you know other mm -hmm. motives and intentions right, right. but um, the impact that you and Tom have had on this country is tremendous the lives that you have touched is tremendous and 
the things that you guys have been doing i don't know if anybody else would be doing them or can do them because of the experience and the the knowledge and wealth of knowledge actually that you guys brought with you yeah. so um i am truly grateful for you and Tom. well thank you and I i'm glad you chose me <laughs> <laughs> i appreciate that well i can't imagine you know when we got here um we we have wanted to find a church but we also i had a passion to get involved in the community mm -hmm. so when i found the child development foundation i just felt like that was a perfect yeah. fit yeah. and the the lives that we've been able to touch there mm -hmm. it's I, I i don't necessarily um i'm not excited about the work that yeah. we do i i will i keep praying for the day that we don't have to exactly. work with girls who've been sexually abused or exploited or traumatized right. but i'm grateful that we're here yeah. and that we can be of service exactly because where would they go you yeah. know is that that area needs so much more you yeah. know because and I agree with you. I would hope the day comes when you no longer have people coming to your door. You no right. longer have appointments. But right. because of the world that we live in, yeah. you know, it's it's so hard and human beings are so selfish. Yeah. You know, so we continue to allow these things to happen. Um, but also with Alida's, you know, anniversary coming to Belize. Today is my little sister, little big sister, I call her, birthday. Oh, great. Yes, Katrina Young is um, celebrating her, I want to say how Don't say. Her, her <laughs> Don't birthday say today. So happy birthday, <laughs> Kate. We call her Kate. So happy birthday to you. Um, so this is a fun day, a wonderful day. We have lots of you know discussion we want to share some of the things that we've learned especially since we're kicking off the september celebrations yes, yes. and so i am thankful that cyrilla put up this beautiful flag yeah, for us he did a morning. great job it looks good yeah and so um <laughs> we want to talk about our shirts that yes. we're wearing this morning as yes. well and so we have um alita well maybe you could Talk about yours first. Well, okay. it's the same. It's the same shirt. Mine is just um, mine is just fitted. It's the female yes, fitted version. Yes, this is version. a female fitted. <laughs> and yeah. the t-shirts are done by ID7, a local company here mm -hmm. in Belize. And we're very excited to, to always support local artists and, and small businesses. Mm -hmm. And so when we saw these shirts, we both got excited. Yep. Yeah. So our good friend, um, Deidre, Deidre, she's behind this as well. And... Um, so I told her, girl, I want one of those shirts. <laughs> but I asked too late, so I had to get one. I'm going to get a fitted one, but this is also good because it shows you what the um, just a regular T-shirt yeah, looks like. Yeah, so yours is a medium also? Or is it I a small? Don't know. I don't know. But this is a medium fitted. I'm tempted I'm to like check my <laughs> back and check my tag. What do you see? Oh, it's a small. Oh. Here's a small. I told her I needed a little <laughs> extra small, you know? Because, like, yesterday when I went to visit my sister, the security guard was like, So, are you her little sister or her big sister? Oh. I'm like, I'm the big sister. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Oh, because you're so small. I'm like, Whatever. But yes, yeah, so we wanted to. Um, we really love the message of the shirts, you know? And so it says, Belize country, my mic is hiding the country. Yeah, for we country. It says Belize, con it says for we country, mm -hmm. 1981, Rio Hondo to Saristoon, and then at the bottom it has land of, land the, free. of the free. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not showing my belly button on <laughs> TV, so yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, land of the free. I will behave. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so, um, and the fun thing about these shirts is that they have in kid sizes. Yes, I mean, like do. toddler sizes. Yeah. So a three-year-old could fit in one of these. And yeah. I like it not because it doesn't have like the theme for this year mm -hmm. or a date to it that you don't want to wear yeah. next year but it's a shirt you yeah. can wear year round right um and right. she has it in white in this um blue that i have red i think those are the three colors right and black and black. there's also a black one okay yeah yeah so i'll be getting a black one soon because i wanted that okay too. yeah <laughs> i'm going to get what i don't remember what color i told her maybe white yeah you know i like to stay safe with certain colors uh-huh yeah uh -huh. Um, I won't say the other thing. 
Yeah, well, that's exciting. Um, I, I just, I, I love wearing local or buying local, and yeah. so also our jewelry. Definitely. Today. Yes. <laughs> yes. Our jewelry is from yeah. LG Jewelry, and um, she's in Roaring Creek, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, does she say Roaring but Creek she, or Camelote? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm not sure, but she ships countrywide. Yes. So, you know, our bracelets and our earrings are, were yeah. designed and handmade by LG Jewelry. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. No, it's beautiful. No, you gotta see it's it a um, red, white, and blue. Oh, there we there go. go. Me and my bony hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. It looks it's great. gorgeous. And then um, my earrings. Yeah. Also, don't zoom up, you know, imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cyril. Oh. So she made these, and she has a ton of other yes. patriotic um, yes. colors. All right, we're going to Alida's yeah. one. Which so I got the red because I, I I went and I said this is what I'm wearing on mm -hmm. the show. I showed her my T-shirt, and so, those are really beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. I got the red she puts earrings. A so. lot of work yeah, and love does. into her stuff. I got yeah. me a triple strand red necklace Ooh. and a blue one awesome. i read if it wore as people because she hooked me up yes. so but i didn't want to wear the necklace today because it's like really fancy yeah. well and you got to show off and the then i want to show off the thing yeah. but i will be wearing it next week <laughs> so but yes yeah, so definitely check out lg jewelry she has a facebook page as well on facebook she answers she's very quick with responding yes. to people yeah. um so you want to check her out and get your stuff she's really good so, yeah yeah so we're ready to celebrate we are ready to kick <laughs> off this month um and i you know and i was i'm going to be honest i was telling alida you know with all the crazy stuff happening in this country yeah. it it um i have different or mixed emotions about yeah. this month with everything that's been yeah. in the news and all yeah. the things that are going on because yeah. usually for september i like to tease people i ready for bash right? <laughs> but listen i don't bash like how most of you guys bash you know i have what they call christian bashment right <laughs> so i only bash the nice clean gospel music and yes there are no hymns you know? <laughs> no. so um and i look forward to the christian parade on the 20th night uh -huh. like every year i put on i i put on my tennis shoes and i march from roaring creek all the way to belmont pan around by the time i done that that my one year bash <laughs> once a year it takes so, a year to get ready yep. and you gotta recover from all that partying the night before one year i did i think maybe two years i didn't do it and because yeah. i was pregnant with zyra and then i had her the next year but after that i put zyra on the float and mommy did her thing oh goodness but yeah so all of that to say it's it, i i sh i'm sure that um a lot of Belizeans are feeling those mixed yeah. emotions yeah. and some people outrightly have said, I don't want to celebrate. I don't feel like celebrating. Mm -hmm. You know, what is there to celebrate? Mm -hmm. But we do have some things that we should celebrate yeah. always and talk about. Yes. So. Yeah. And we're going to talk about some of those yes. today. And celebrate people too. Yes. Um, yeah. This month, today and this month, we want to, you know, feature and highlight um, the remarkable Belizeans yeah. that makes us want to be proud again yeah. of this country. Yeah. Not everybody is crooked. Yes. <laughs> well, and I'm excited. We, we have a guest here in the house yes. today, and I can't wait for him to come on and for you all to, to hear him. A very special yes. treat. He's a favorite of ours, <laughs> yes. and we're glad that he took the time out to come and be with us today. Yeah. 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 So you ready? I am. So all we right. should take a yes. break, right? Let's and take come back. our break, and then we will come right back with our our special guests for today so don't go anywhere
Morning. Good morning, Mr. Brown. How are you today? Man, today this I head hot. Because we're the building this new house and I have to find just about everything. Well, you've come to the right place. Right, make sure then. You got steel, cement, sand and gravel, backfill? Yes, we do. We also have cement blocks, PVC pipe, PVC fittings, white sand, brown sand, plywood, ply sand, and she grab. Nice. What about electrical wire? Yeah, we got that. Also, we need a socket, panel box, safety switch, transfer switch, electrical things, and any electrical supplies you need. How about toilets, basin, tub, shower stall, bathroom cabinet, faucet, and shower valve? We got all of that. Plus, we have all types of roofing, lumber, and gutter. Do you have roof tile, roof shingle? What about industrial roofing? Yes, we also have roof sealant, roofing tape, and roof ventilators. Wow! What about doors, door locks, windows, decorative light, interior and exterior tiles? We also got interior and exterior paint. We mix over a thousand colors. And auto paints too. What about one lime green? We'd leave it as sky blue as some brown. <laughs> and to add to the finishing touches, we got jacuzzi, water heater, water tank, water pump, well pump, pool pump, and accessories. And even curtain rods. AC unit and fittings, generators, landmowers, weed eaters, chainsaw, garden supplies, wheelbarrow, chain links, fence fitting, electrical tools, quality, variety, quantity, and service with a smile. Man, you really got everything on a one roof. Builders Hardware, your home improvement warehouse. Dad, I'll take boardwalk off your hands for $1,000. It's almost triple. Nope. Okay, fine. I'll give you $2,000 plus the utilities. Take it or leave it. Is that all you got? Okay. I know you won't refuse this. What's good barbecue worth to you? Grace Barbecue Sauce. Here are some latest samples from Roots and Honors. Right? Just a glimpse of his glory, just a hint of majesty. Lord be my hero, my hero, Lord be my hero, my hero. Come and be my light, my dark is light. Life gives you lemons, make a lemonade. Oh, it's a celebration. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. We see them giants fall. Bing, 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 bing. 
Welcome back to Life Uncommon. We are live here in the studio at Plus TV, and we have been talking about celebrating September, mm -hmm. and I am so excited to introduce our guest for today. We have with us Kieran Gabriel. Did I say it right? Yes. I know my accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was going to tease you about saying bafu. Uh, <laughs> not bafu. <laughs> Okay, so how do you say it? He'll tell you. He'll tell it. Okay. So why don't you um, introduce yourself and tell us more about you. My name is Kieran Gabriel. I'm a spoken word artist and entrepreneur. I have my internet cafe and bookstore in okay. New City. Yes. I do spoken word and I'm also the editor of the e-magazine called Bafo. <laughs> okay. There you go. The Bafo. Yeah. Bafo. Okay. <laughs> Well, we are so glad to have you with Thank us you this morning. Yeah. yeah, I always get excited every time I hear that you're going to be someplace uh, to perform because mm -hmm. I, I love the, the way that you write and the passion that you yes. write from mm -hmm. and with, and it's always exciting. Yes, and it's genuine. Yes. You know, he's, he really shares his heart and how he feels. It's, it's a raw, you know how they say apple cider uh -huh. vinegar is like really good. Yeah. Like Kieran, I like that for his stuff that like raw <laughs> apple cider <laughs> vinegar. It's like it's so good, yeah. but if it was diluted, it wouldn't be the no, same. No, it wouldn't. And that's what I appreciate about his pieces because they're so yeah. powerful, so rich, raw though. So he doesn't pretty it up, right? You know, pretty no. <laughs> <laughs> So, and his business comes highly recommended. Yeah. It was funny because somebody was telling me about him because uh -huh. um, I didn't know about that part. Yeah. And they're like, oh, this young man in Belize City, he's excellent. He'll find anything you need, blah, blah. And then she said, your name? And I'm like, oh, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get started writing? I, was, I got started writing in high school. I started to write a couple poems to deal with, you know, high school emotions. Mm. And, uh -huh. and then in 2011, I broke up. I met this group called um, Youth Voices, Belize. Okay. And through a series of workshops, I just started to constantly write in and develop my skills. And from there on, the rest was history. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when was the first time you actually um, did one of your spoken word pieces aloud for somebody else to hear? Um, two weeks into the workshop, so it was like <laughs> we did two, we just did two workshops, and the workshops are those two hours every Saturday. Uh -huh. So on the second Saturday, um, by the third Saturday, it's like, all right, our instructor look at us, all right, I need to perform now. Mm. And I like, we barely did get half of the people. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone was tripping at that point and then you yeah. had to like really step up the game. But yeah. then after you wet your feet, it started to become easier for you. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So what inspires you? Um, life in general. Uh -huh. Life in general inspires me and the day-to-day -day experiences what, that I go through. So mm -hmm. I would just take those and put those to paper and then to find out that a lot of people feel the same way but they are afraid to voice their opinion. Um, a lot of people in Belize are just suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. it's something similar to what Alicia Keys is campaigning for right now, silence is violence. Yes. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard that no. campaign. No. I like that. The man de tapate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to check that yeah, one out. But that definitely. is so true. A lot of people are afraid to speak out and yeah. we've try to encourage our viewers that it's time to stop being quiet and to start speaking out because and if you even notice a majority um of talk our talk shows or stuff people want to text they don't want to call you know right. they don't know their right. voice or you know anything like that and it's very hard to get people to stand up publicly and share from their hearts yeah so and you're also a reader, right? Yeah. So because I noticed the other day you posted, well, it may be a quite a while back, you posted um, some of your favorite authors and books. And I think mm. that is a last thing among young mm. people these days. What I found out was interesting because I posted some of the books and through that one post is when I found out that there are a lot of people that love to read as well. Mm -hmm. But because it doesn't look like the popular thing, people are like, yeah, we know, we, we, they won't publicly post about yeah. it. But then... Yeah. I, not recently, but like over the last couple of months, I got into reading and then I started to read and then 
it enhances your imagination. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as an artist, you should read and be current with information that is coming out now in order to deliver your piece mm -hmm. as efficiently as possible. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My, um, my daughter won an essay the other day. I'll talk more about that next, next week. week. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, one of the, th and she's an excellent writer. And what I found, and so I've been telling people, I said, did you know she always said, I'm like, yeah, I know she was a good writer. But her secret too is that she loves to read. And she's mm -hmm. always reading. Mm -hmm. She asks her dad to bring her books so that she could read. And I think um, that definitely helps her to be able yeah. to, you know, she has more words. She, broadens her vocabulary yes. she, you know it starts the imagination yeah. of that so. yeah that's mm -hmm. yeah. yeah well reading books and also having those real life experiences as well going mm -hmm. to different places throughout the country um, you and I got to go on a trip. Um, to Blue Hole. Yeah. To the Afton Key. Yeah. It was a really good trip. It <laughs> was a really good trip. They invited several different artists and um, it, it just the night that we all performed or exhibited our pieces, mm -hmm. it was amazing to me that we had all gone to the same place and we each came up with something different, mm -hmm. you know, that we were inspired by. But Belize is an incredible, incredible country. Yes. And there is so much here, whether it's the Blue Hole or, ha we were at Half Moon Key. Yeah, Half Moon Key and then the Blue Hole was like seven miles away. Because mm -hmm. when, we, when we were on the boat, we, they just told us we were going to Half Moon Key. So we weren't thinking of the Blue Hole. Then on the, on the boat, they announced we're going to the Blue Hole. I'm, I'm like, the one in the, the, one in the book? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, so when we were there and then we're actually looking at the blue hole itself and I'm, I'm taking my video camera on top of the boat and I'm circulating the hole and I'm saying, wow, this is just a place that I see in a Tony Rat picture. Like yeah. you know, most of the time you want to see pictures of it, but to actually be there and to swim in the blue hole was... Uh, it's a real moment for me. Wait, yes. you got to eat at a water. He, yes. he went in the water. I, he, was, he was way more brave than me. <laughs> I was not getting out of the boat. Especially when they talked about how deep it was. Uh -huh. like, mm, I'll watch. <laughs> I had a Miley life jacket too. Oh, yeah. I had a float room. I never want to bubble up. <laughs> Maybe I would have, if you know, had a little life jacket or somebody to hold on to me. I might they, they had people that, that, yeah, that they had, had some people. Okay. And they took you around the yeah. the the, court, the reef so you could see it, and you had the the snorkel so you could look down and see. And there were people that were brave enough to swim without it. So wow. I, I wanted to be brave like them, but <laughs> I'll stick to my life jacket. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, man. you know, I think. Um, it's time to share one. Yeah, I know you have two pieces, yeah. and so we'll do one first, and then to chat a little bit more, and then do another one. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, this one is called Belize is Me. Country serene, my home Belize, a paradigm bliss being kissed by the seas. The people colorful, head strong like mahogany. In the face of oppression, we strive for unity. The jewel ever blooming, the best is yet to come. Our children hand in hand, dancing under the sun. God's gift to us. A land beyond riches, milk and honey valley, passion moving ridges. Blood and sweat bathe the land, our efforts bear fruit. The nectar of our heritage quenches our roots. The river's soul carry tales of folklore, an ode to Yeriso from Coro to Toledo. The keys they whisper, secrets of lazy time, secrets of secrets of lazy time. Ambience sets the mood, even stress on wine. Days of gold, yesterday in man, the birds they sing in the land of mango time. Evergreen chicky bull preserve Belize's youth. She cries every time our wealth's been looted. I kiss the land by the sea in hopes to heal its wounds, using my arms like the Great Barrier Reef to protect this jewel. Belize is God's paradise, heaven sent. She completes me, my empowerment. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. I have two hand in now, but. <laughs> wow. So on a super, I tell him about the man, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he he puts it so I don't know how you put it all together, but it yeah. just sounds really good, and the words just really go so well together. So when you write a piece like that, does it all come out at once, or does it come out in sections? Mm -hmm. how, what's your process like? My process is I function at night. Okay. <laughs> so it will come out in sections and then some parts of it I would just do some research into it. So okay. at the same time I try to 
as much as it's positive, I try to leave a yeah. message within it. So it could have a hidden message or it could be self-explanatory, but it's really up for your interpretation. So yeah. I just dash it out. Yeah. I'm responsible for what I say, not how you respond. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right. So when did you write this piece? This piece I wrote last year. Um, it was for a patriotic competition that okay. they evening of patriotic songs uh, um, that the Western Methodist Church did and I submitted the poem and I came in first with it and I debuted the poem last year at the e at the 8th annual evening of patriotic songs and poems. That's an event where they share um, the pieces from way back when okay. up to now and then that's like those are like the few new pe pieces of patriotic poems mm -hmm. added to the song because all of the songs that we sing today for the for the tenth celebration started as poems yeah. and then okay. eventually the people added compositions to it and notes and that's how it became the song. Mm -hmm. So like the poem Land of the Free from Samuel Haynes mm -hmm. was originally known as Land of the Gods. Mm -hmm. So and that eventually got adapted into our national anthem. They just changed it because of because they wanted to portray Belize as a Christian country or a monogamous country, mm -hmm. they changed it from Land of the Gods to Land of the Free. Okay. Say the man, they give you history <laughs> that, all right? Um, so I wanted to ask, and we not we never tell Kieran when we are asking. So, <laughs> there was, so, but I wanted to ask you, like, you write a lot about Belize. Obviously, you're very passionate about what happens in this country and country in a whole. Um, so tell us a little bit about why you're so passionate. Because you could be like a bunch of other people mm -hmm. who don't really care what's going on in this country. Well, Belize is a home. I mean, even if you go to another place, you can call that home, but then if you get deported, you're sending it right back here. <laughs> True. <laughs> so you, have to, you have to love the place that you come from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, you could watch, the, watch the Jamaicans. No matter where they are in the diaspora, mm -hmm. they always support each other. Yes. yes. So if, if any of them on the world stage, no matter what difference they have, they support each yes. other. And that's the type of support we need. But we're in this country and because we we don't like peop other people to do better than us, uh -huh. mm -hmm. then we, we always talk bad about people. So we always focus more on the bad than the good. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I think that stunted our growth as a nation and as a people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An interesting insight. Mm -hmm. you know. And I, I, I agree. I think, you know, my mom would say it's a crab in a barrel mentality type thing too. And so um, it's true if we focus all the time on the negative and what everybody else is doing wrong, but we're not willing to be a part of the solution, yeah. then nothing really changes. Yeah. And then we pass that type of mentality on to the next generation and before you know it nobody's patriotic anymore nobody loves this country enough to do anything yeah. I cannot stand seeing people the national anthem playing and people eat chips you know <laughs> they sell food yeah. they, they stand yeah. talking it's like there's no nothing at all that makes them think hmm, maybe I should pay some respect to this. Um, yeah. I think it's more of a disconnect we have with our country. I mean, it's just like when we went to the Blue Hole. When we went to the Blue Hole, I mean, before that, the Blue Hole was out of sight, out of mind. But when we went to the Blue Hole, we feel a connection to it. Yeah. Yeah. So when the shark finning was happening around the areas, mm -hmm. we felt something because we were there right. swimming and right. they, they were in that habitat yeah. to see the sharks getting finned. And when I went to research on shark finning, to find out that they are killing over us between 75 million to 100 million sharks and sharks wow. do not rep reproduce that fast mm -hmm. yeah. so yeah. they are one of the creatures that balance the ecosystem and if they're mm -hmm. gone then that will affect us eventually yeah. mm -hmm. so sharks could be extinct in the next 10 to 15 years it's not like say 50 or 100 years it's actually next to 10 years or so mm -hmm. yeah. and mm -hmm. we have to care about that i mean that's our environment exactly and so for me that's how if we if we would do more stuff like that in mm -hmm. terms of engaging with our community and mm -hmm. our environment we would feel a sense of pride towards it yeah. but if we do not feel the same way then 
we're continuously throwing garbage on the street. I mean, you go to, to Chetama, no one is throwing garbage in Chetama because mm -hmm. it will be locked up forever. But as soon as they reach across the border, troops. True? Yeah. yeah. And it, it is so important to, to remember the fact that people are paying thousands of dollars to come here to vacation. Mm -hmm. This is a, a place that, that people from around the world fall in love mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. So the people that live here, you know, if you don't get a chance to experience those things, yeah. maybe that's that's part of the reason people don't value it as much. Because mm -hmm. we were told when we went out to um, Half Moon Key, what is it, about 6,000 people a year yeah. even visit mm -hmm. out there? Because they have a limited number that they allow to come on. That That's um, like world... Heritage. Heritage, yeah. And it's expensive as well because Very. just alone with the fuel is uh, between eight fifty to a thousand dollars. Yeah, so just to, to get out there. Just to get out there. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's not no even with paying the captain as well. Right. right. But we have a lot of um, that's another issue that we have in Belize. A lot of our youths don't get the chance to travel out of their environment. So mm -hmm. they're stunted in their environment and feel that nothing can happen mm -hmm. for them. So right. you always hear that that saying not in Guana Belize. So yeah. they have so I always that's what my mom told me. The, every day there's always someone with their bag packed ready to go to the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true because they see that as a land of opportunities and it's going to be better. Um, but not but necessarily not necessarily <laughs> and look how many people are coming from the states here mm -hmm. to Belize. There's exactly. a reason why we yeah. want to be here. This is an incredibely beautiful country with a rich heritage mm -hmm. and incredible people and um, Belize you have a lot to be proud of. Yeah. I know there are negative things going on but you have a lot to to be proud of in this country. Yeah. I'm thinking if I should say what I want to say. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to say it say anyway. It. Say know, it. I, I'm getting too old to not say how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, Kieran brought it up and you, then you mentioned it, so I can't not say it. I think, um, you know, it is a big problem that it bugs me that I cannot afford to go to certain parts of my own country. Yes. I'm yeah. not welcome in certain parts of my own country. Yeah. We have foreigners that come to this country, buy up all the beachfront properties and private islands and all these things, and then they market it to foreigners. Mm -hmm. Belizeans aren't welcome. Mm -hmm. Or they put the price so high that Belizeans can't afford to go right. to certain places. Right. Like I got so frustrated this summer trying to find an affordable but nice place for my family to go right. on vacation. Right. I don't want to go to somewhere that looks worse than my house. <laughs> you know, I want a vacation and yeah. I'm not a camping girl. Yeah. I like luxury. Yeah. You know? And but I just that stirred up a lot for me and I'm like there are so many things in this country mm -hmm. that my kids have never been able to go to. Mm -hmm. I know people um, when I was little I I think the only place I went to was like Belize City and back home. Okay. I didn't really get to tour this country. I still don't know this entire country. Yeah. Um, yeah. And many people, so I think it is a valid point. If people don't get to enjoy these things and embrace them, yeah. maybe that's uh, why there's such a disconnect. Right. You know, right. Um, I remember my parents when they did a community baboon sanctuary my dad he would go and visit schools mm -hmm. and then schools would come up there and they would talk about the monkeys and why yeah. it's important to protect them and stuff and we saw the attitude shifted instead of kids um throwing sticks and stones at the monkeys they learned that this is something they should protect right and the right. attitude shifted and so i think more things like that where we our younger ones especially they need to go like i would love to go to the blue hole i mean yeah. not anybody could go to the blue <laughs> hole so we have to kind of sit and look at pictures right you right. know but i would love to go to the blue hole that's on my bucket list actually yeah. you know i want to go to victoria peak yes that's on the next bucket list that's, item that's on my list. <laughs> Yeah, I want to do La Ruta Maya. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just saying, there are so many wonderful things. How many people have probably even gone to the zoo? You yeah. know, we think that that is something that, but how many people have gone to the zoo? Even when I was younger, we had a lot of trips in, in the primary school. But mm -hmm. now that I'm looking at primary school now and they're barely doing any types of yeah. trips. Mm -hmm. I even was talking to a police officer the other day and I told him the reason why, or I told him how I felt 
the reason why there's a disconnect between um, the community and yeah. the police is because you and this, um, your organization and the school are not connecting. So, like yeah. when we when we were younger, like say in Standard Six, we they took us to the police station and then they took us on a tour mm -hmm. and explained everything to us. So yeah. we we engage with the police officers, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how many police officers are engaging with young people mm -hmm. uh, on that level, right? right? Mm -hmm. On the educational right. level, rather than on the law side. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I it would be helpful to see <laughs> the other side, yeah. you know, so that they don't yeah. go the wrong direction later on. Yeah. I think I'm going to get in trouble. This <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Are you going to say something else? Okay. When I was go growing ahead. up, policemen were respected that, like, respectable people in this country and they give you the eye and you know, you're straighten up now the other maybe a couple months ago i was walking on the walkway dropping my daughter to school there was like a bunch of policemen talking to a bunch of young people and they were riding on the walkway and that is not allowed in Belmopan. and so the policeman told a young man that was passing by and he was a young police officer fresh out of training mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. you need to come off on a bike well, I watch ya. Me I got time to waste with you and all that. Oh, oh my goodness! That's the word policeman. Like you dare talk to a policeman like that. When I was growing up, you I get it, you know. <laughs> but there's no kind of respect at all, yeah. and you know. Anyways, I, that the all I want to say. <laughs> um, there's a lot more I would want to say about that, but it's true. And the way that the policemen, when they do go to the schools, I don't know if they get training in how to talk to them the students there because they went to my daughter's school and I was not happy with the way they address mm -hmm. her class and how they address my child mm -hmm. and I'm like uh uh not gonna work anyways and I said nothing more we're going to break and it's shit yeah I'm going to break take us a break <laughs> Belize, it's the second annual Grace Week Here Sweepstakes and your big chance to win a fabulous kitchen makeover. And we mean makeover with a brand new Whirlpool refrigerator, microwave, stove, blender, and dining table set from Quartz Belize. Brand new mowing faucet, sink, floor tiles, and wall tiles, knobs, and hybrid USB surge protectors from Brothers Habet. An LTE touchscreen phone with data and credits from Smart. And if that's not enough, you will get six months free groceries from Grace Beverage Center and Grace Strategic Partners. If you don't win our grand prize, don't worry because you'll have lots more chances to win over 900 instant prizes with our scratch and win tickets. The Grace team will be at locations countrywide offering promotions and issuing tickets. The big drawing takes place on September 4th. Don't miss your big chance to win. Grace Week here. Like us on Facebook at Grace Kennedy Belize Limited and know when and where the promotion team will be. Here are some latest samples from Roots and Honors. Right? Just a glimpse of his glory, just a hint of majesty. Lord be my hero, my hero, Lord be my hero, my hero, come and be my light, my dark is back. Life gives you lemons, you make a lemonade, oh, it's a salad. Bing 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 b
Welcome back to Life Uncommon. We are live here in the studio at Plus TV and we have been celebrating Belize and um, just having a great discussion. We are so excited to be able to hear one more uh, spoken word piece yes. from Kiran. So, are you about ready or should are you we? Are ready? Be okay. Ready. Yeah. Be ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Tell I didn't know if you were ready. Yeah, tell, so us. tell us. This, baby, this baby. piece, yeah, yeah, this piece is Land of the Free. My version of Land of the Free. Okay. It's very patriotic, so... <laughs> <laughs> o land of the slaves by the Carib Sea, our manhood taken, our rights, no liberty. Yes, pirates here linger, injustice come free. We complain for this false sense of democracy. The blood that we shed, many souls go accounted. We go with the flow or feel the jumper's rod. By the lies of truth, all the rest at last. We burn and burn as heroes of wood. All die Belizeans do to half make plans. We fight each other while foreigners take the land. Drive back the patriots, let tyrants run free. Land of the slaves by the Carib Sea. Nature was raped for its riches and gold, destroying mounds and reefs. That just how life go. Our fatherless children bicker and more. Behind closed doors they plot our heritage soul. From old Rio Hondo to Temash Sarstoon. Our country brainwashed by the propaganda rule. Keep watch on the border, contraband runs loose. This silent revolution not far from bloom. All die Belizeans due to half make plans. We fight each other while foreigners take the land. Drive back the patriots, let tyrants run free. Land of the slaves by the Carib Sea. I could say amen. <laughs> <laughs> I tell Karen wow. I had to hear that, yes. like yes. share it because it is so so true. Like seriously, what inspired you to do this piece? I woke up an afternoon thinking of a piece to write for um, a video competition, the uh -huh. September video competition that the September celebration was having, and okay. then that poem came to me. As soon as I woke up, like I took a shower, like that's where a lot of my inspiration comes as well. Yeah. Like I, I'm just taking a shower and words start to flow and instantly I just jump out of the shower and I start to write. So, and then th I finished that poem in about 15 to 20 minutes. Wow. And then went downstairs and got a video and get my camera and did the video and I came in third place with that really? poem that year. Wow. That's great. Did you know that it was going to be good when you were writing it? I didn't know how big an impact it would have mm -hmm. had. Because I wrote that poem in 2014, uh -huh. and up to now, it's still relevant. Mm -hmm. yes. So, and, and mm -hmm. I able Even to more. achieve a, a lifetime goal, which was to make timeless pieces. Yes. So it's yes. similar to like say, like a Bob Marley or um, maybe Jimi Hendrix or a Tupac Shakur. No matter how long they have passed, yeah. mm -hmm. their works are still relevant up to now. Mm -hmm. I yeah. didn't want to, that, that was one of my main focus to not to have 
pieces that would be seasonal, like you right. hear it now and then you'll forget it down mm -hmm. the line. Right. I want right. it to be remembered throughout generations. Right. And yeah. I achieved that with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's excellent. It's something that you know, I would love every Belizean to listen to and like not just listen to it, but like play it over and over that you understand what he's really saying because it's it has a powerful message yes. in it for sure. Yes, it does. So with the half, make plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that right? line really stood out. Well, yeah. the one that foreigners buying up the land, no matter what. Anyways, we're talking about land today. Try to keep a composure. I just bought a little bit of piece. I didn't take up a whole lot of it. No, Alida, your family is a of foreigner. No, man. I talked about you. I'll just work on, well, I'm working on a book right now, my second book, but this will be my solo book, so that should be a poem that will be included. So hopefully I can have that out by. Or I'll have it finished by the ending of the year, and then okay. maybe I can bring it out for 2017. Excellent. Excellent. Well, then we'll and make sure you have, come back yes. with the book, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah our, our group is also working on a book on anthology from Spoken Word 501, so okay. you can look out for that by the ending of this year. And for Bafo, um, it's over two and a half years now that we're doing the magazine. We, when we first started, we said in five years' time we'll have our first printed magazine. And it's just two and a half years, ten issues in, and we're about to have our wow. first printed version wow. of the magazine. That's so, exciting. So we're working on that, and we're, we'll be launching it here in Belmapan on December 12th. Great. Excellent. So you can look out for it. Yep, okay. and send us a reminder close yes. to the date because we all we forget things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see how I put the yeah, wheel in we. the <laughs> well, Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Yes. We really appreciate Yeah. Just, oh, there is amazing talent here in Belize. And to be able to highlight mm -hmm. a young man like Kieran is, is um, it's a privilege. Exactly. <laughs> I, I tell it too. Yeah. Um, and so while we were pre preparing for this show, we decided to go and visit the Golson House, which mm -hmm. is right here in Belmopan. And if you guys haven't been there, I encourage you guys, make your way over. It's on Orange, Orange Street, Street. Uh -huh. here in Belmopan. Um, and they open, I think, from 9 till 5. Yes. And it's just an amazing little house. I think it was open. This will be their first year. I think, yeah. Year. Yeah, it's been um, They opened year. last year, September. Um, so Alida and I, we kind of just showed up. <laughs> Even yeah, though they were open. Yeah, we an appointment. We just showed up. And, oh, they're showing So you can pictures. go ahead and show yeah. the pictures. Um, yeah. and, and just to learn. I, I love this. Leaders must think. You we know. were just snapping and talking because we wanted to go back and walk you guys through it. But time, um, you know, we didn't have enough time yeah. to do that. But really, guys, don't just look at the pictures and say, oh, okay, it's a must. Um, so these are just some pictures that Alida snapped while we yeah, were there. Yeah, with my phone. Um, but it's an incredible place. There were several panels, and it takes you through, like, from Philip Goldson's birth his, his educational experience, his life experience, his, his political experiences. His um, pieces. His, I love that yeah, piece, our, our Belizean, Belizean roots. roots. I love that piece. And this was a piece that he wrote while blind. Yes. It, well, you know, he typed it on a um, typewriter while he was blind. And then somebody just made um, minor corrections in yeah. pen. But yeah, this was only three, actual three corrections. Yeah. And he typed the whole thing. My, I <laughs> have my sight and I can't type that well <laughs> without looking at the keyboard. <laughs> So, but he was excellent. He he made a comment that I wanted to get to share with you guys, and I didn't get a chance to do that. But he was talking about he sometimes he forgot that he was blind or he couldn't see mm -hmm. because he relied so much more on the other senses. Yes. Um, but the things that he did while blind, I think, is in itself a testament of that drive that one could have. That you don't, you shouldn't let your disabilities or anything hold you back from yeah. fighting for your country or trying to make a difference. Yeah. And one of his favorite, one of my favorite quotes from him is, "The time to save your country is before you lose it." Mm -hmm. And that's why I love this shirt because <laughs> I'm a weak country. I don't know if in no other country. 
So Guatemala go back so because <laughs> this is a we country. And yeah. you want to share? Well, I my favorite quote, and I posted it on my Facebook page this week. I have a mission, and so I must go on to the end of the road. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't stop halfway. And he was about halfway through his political career, right? He spent about 30 years in mm -hmm. the house. Yes. So he was about halfway through his political career when he went blind. Mm -hmm. But he had a mission, so he went on to the end of the road. You know, you can't stop yeah. what it is you've been called to do, what it is you feel inspired to do. Keep going to the end of the road. Mm -hmm. It just amazed me that, um, you know, to find out that, that uh, he wrote stories from prison. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he wrote them on toilet paper and then snuck them out of the prison so that <laughs> it could still get published. Mm -hmm. Just the, the determination. Yeah. The, um, the insight, the love that Philip Goldson had for this country, mm -hmm. you know, because it wasn't about a political party for him. Yeah. It was about protecting Belize and, and promoting and doing what's right yeah. for the country of Belize. Yeah. I would love to do a whole show just yeah. about the different things that he's done or contributed to. And another quote of his is, this is our country. We own it, we love it, and we will keep it. Yes. And I'm like, that's right. Um, and he actually made an address to the um, United Nations. Mm -hmm. um, he did a one hour address um, to them, um, telling them about this whole Belize Guatemala issue and I just wanted to quickly read um, a bit of what he said I was so proud reading this and this is in the house like you could get it in, um, it's right there the entire speech he says um, da, 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 da. Mr. Chairman is one of the national leaders who oppose British colonialism I suffered imprisonment in a British jail I endured this imprisonment gladly because I looked forward to the day when my country would become an independent and sovereign nation in its own right. Um, that is why I am opposed to anything short of genuine unfettered independence for my country. I will fight to the death against the deco de decolonization of my country by Guatemala. And um, he goes on to say thousands of my countrymen will lay down their lives rather than accept the decolonization by Guatemala. Um, and, you know, he just went on and on talking, yeah. and he was like, I am here to, um, and I don't have that one, but he was saying, um, I am here because the people of British Honduras, Belize, reject and refute that claim and will never submit to Guatemalan control. Um, because he and he told him, he says, I am here because they want my country. You know, like he was very strong yeah. that this is my country, <laughs> it's our country, for we country. And I was just like, I loved how he was so brave in the way he wrote yes. his speech and all his different writings. He was very brave and very clear in, in exactly what he wanted to. And I don't know if you had gotten a picture with him standing out in front of the meeting that I'm um, in Puerto Rico. No, I don't think. I got it on my phone. I wanted to share one. He, he was not allowed to a certain meeting in Puerto Rico and they raised funds and sent him to the meeting and they wouldn't let him into the meeting. So he tied up sign on him and it says this is our country <laughs> <laughs> and it says no political ties with Guatemala like you know and that was one of the first instances where he brought this whole situation with the Belize Guatemala claim to the international press and even the local one so I thought you go Philip Gold <laughs> <laughs> you know man up to my heart yeah it's true Belize are for me yeah. Pick up the shirt. So make sure, guys, you get this shirt because we are out of time. I keep we out of here, right? <laughs> so I want to say, get this shirt. If you would like to get one of these shirts, you could go on Facebook, right? Yes. ID7. Facebook, Instagram, ID7. Look for them. Yes. Yeah. Or text the <laughs> or number on our screen, and we'll send you the information. If you if you are not a Facebook person, right. Text right. that number on the screen and we will send that to you because support a local, you know, um, entrepreneur here that is doing something awesome and it's a shirt you could wear year round and yeah, go good with Kieran book when he come out. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> and he has a shirt too, but we didn't give him yeah, the memo. Yeah, we didn't give him the memo, otherwise he They left me out. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
Yeah, he probably may have, you know, out shine me with your shirt. So we like, no boy, I just a tease. <laughs> <laughs> we we didn't get the, the memo to you. So so yeah, so we are out of time. But we do want to say thank you to all of our, our sponsors. We um, thank you to Grace Kennedy Belize, to Builders Hardware, mm -hmm. to LG Jewelry, to Roots and Honor Records. Um, thank you, Kieran, for being with us. Yes, thank you for having we me. We really <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you, Cirillo, for your work this morning. Um, and thank you to every... Is that Ryan? Thank you. No, that's not Ryan. That's not Ryan? Yeah, yeah I wasn't sure of his so, name. Yeah, well, cool. We have yeah, somebody new in the control <laughs> of this morning, so thank you so much. <laughs> and thank you to everybody that's watching, because we absolutely could not do the show without yeah. you. And so. once again, happy, happy, happy birthday yeah. to my sister, Katrina Young. I love you, sis. I remember I had a big sister. <laughs> and also, congratulations again to you on oh, your anniversary. You. Six, yes, years, six in years in Belize. Six years in Belize. So excited. Right. Can't wait to see what the next six years have to hold. Right. <laughs> Look forward. Hang out with us, guys. This entire month is going to be really great, really fun. So um, we'll be back next week with another great show. Yes. Out of the ordinary and step into exceptional food, the Smoke Shop Restaurant and Bar. The Smoke Shop is neatly tucked away off the Constitution Drive in Bonopan.